Hi, th this is a tutorial in the Motion Graphics course and in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, the freeze frame effect. Now, um, what I, where I'm going to start is in the uh, shutterstock.com. Shutterstock gives us lots of access to a lot of um, video um, stock footage. So I'm going to just click on stock image and here I'm going to put in uh, male dancer. And let's see what comes up. So uh, we can see... Hmm. Okay, so there's, there's one here that I, I looked at before. And we see this guy coming down the stairs doing a dance. So I'd like to use this footage. Now, I'm not using it for a commercial job, so I don't need this high definition um, size. It's okay to download the comp. The comp will have a, um, a watermark on it, uh, but for, for our student projects, that's okay. So if I, uh, I need to make an account for Shutterstock, that costs nothing, and then you'll click on download the comp, and uh, you, you'll, um, you'll have the, the video. So I've downloaded the uh, video, it's sitting on my desktop at the moment, but before I do anything, of course, I'm going to make a project folder, uh, freeze FX, and I'm going to put my, my uh, dance guy into freeze FX. Now I'm ready to go into After Effects. So I'll start After Effects make an, with a new project and save it into my Freeze Effects folder. So here we have a new project which we will save as Desktop Freeze Effects and this can be our Freeze effects project. So now I will open up uh, and import our dancing guy. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's uh, fairly low resolution, 600 by 316, but that's okay for what we're doing at the moment. I'm going to create a new composition by dragging the video file to a composition file and here's our guy dancing. Now I'm going to take a point about here and I want to freeze him at this point. So I'm going to duplicate the, um, uh, the, the, the layer here, the, the video layer. So I will go edit duplicate or command D and I'm going to bring the duplicated layer back to that point. So um, if, if we turn off the background, the first layer, we can see there's the first part and then nothing. So on the last frame here, I'm going to hit the um, uh, left mouse button and go to Time Freeze Frame. Now Freeze Frame will just hold the video on that final frame. So in fact if we put the background on now you can see that it's frozen for the first two seconds and then he's dancing again. So what we want to do now is to use the pen tool, uh, make sure that this layer is selected, and use the pen tool to very quickly make a um, a mask around here. Now, same as with Illustrator, when you use the pen tool, um, you know, just go through until you've finished your your mask, and let's cut around the hand here a bit. Oop. And just keep going until you get back to the beginning 
And when you get back to the beginning, you should get the little zero that says you've now completed a shape. You might need a little practice with that. You might need to zoom in and, uh, and make it better. But once, you, once you've made the shape, let, let's just turn the background off for a moment. Um, you, you should now see our guy as a freeze frame. And so when we put the background on, we now should see our guy dancing until he gets to that point and then he, he starts moving. But what you can also see is that um, our cutout is traveling with the camera movement at the moment and we don't want that. So the, w <clears throat> the way we're going to keep this um, cutout still as the camera moves around is to track the motion of the camera. Um, so we go to the, the first layer, the bottom layer, um, and in fact I can turn off our cutout still image for the moment. So I'm on the, on the bottom layer and I'm going to go to track motion. Um, now, what we need to do is give it a point that it can track. So I'm going to use one of these lines in the background here. Maybe, uh, let me just go out a bit. Let, let me find a point here. That, that should be easy enough for the camera, for, for After Effects, to track that point there. So it's looking for a shape inside the little box and it's looking in anywhere in the big box. So let's do, now with track motion, I'm going to, uh, actually, let's go to the last frame and uh, actually get that point again. So either here or here is fine. Maybe, maybe this one's good. So I'm looking for that point and I'm going to track backwards. So that's analyze backwards and now I have a bunch of track points here and you'll see that it's staying, the white box is staying fixed on that point. Now, this is where it's useful to use a null object. So I'm just going to create a null object and I'm going to edit the target for my null object and make it the null object. So what I hope that will do, I'll go OK, and, and don't forget to hit apply. So we're going to apply the x and y directions. And now what that should do is as this, uh, let me just get the size of my null object there so you can see it. As we scroll through now, the null object is locked to that point there. Uh, actually, after the point we analyzed it, it, it doesn't track anymore. It just stays in the frame. So, But we don't need it after the point where we go through our freeze frame. So up to here, it's all tracking beautifully. And our red null object is locked to that point. So all we need to do now is go to the sort of the last frame, uh, turn on our dancing guy again, and I'm going to use the parent to take our dancing guy and give him a parent, which is the null object. And that should move our freeze frame just the same movement as the null object. So, so that should like look as though it's sitting solid. Now, it's not quite perfect. If you look at the feet on the ground there, you can see there is some movement, but it's close. So where this won't work is when the camera is moving around a lot. There's not a lot of camera movement in this first part, and it works. But when we get down to this sort of later part here, the camera moves right around our... Um, right around our uh, subject, our dancer, from this side of him all the way around to this side. And all the background is moving. So we've got to find a different way to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is actually make a copy of my video. And I'm going to 
just go from about, well, let's see, from about 16 seconds to the end. So I'm just taking the last part of the video and I'm going to make another um, composition just from this part. And this, so you can see he's all over the place. Now with this one, we're going to, instead of doing track motion, we're going to do track camera. Now, well, I'm going to let that run for a little while. You'll see up here, it says it's initializing and then it shows you how much it's done. So after it's uh, run the analysis, what you should see are these colored track points that's, that are trying to track the background to, to show how the camera is moving. So those track points should lock onto uh, points in the background um, in 3D space. Now, in this case, I'm going to take the size of the track points down so I can sort of see a bit better. And when you roll over, it, when it finds like three of these track points together, it will put in what's called a target, a 3D target. Now, I'm looking for something kind of close to my guy so I can kind of use some of these targets. So I'm, I'm thinking something on this wall maybe. So if I place a target here, now it's given me those three points here and what I'm going to do is create a solid and a camera. Now that's, that's my solid shape there. Now watch what happens when I move around, it's doing its best to nail that pink solid to the background. So it's actually not, it's not doing too bad, it's not too bad. Okay, so what I think I should do is try and get my guy about here and do a like a freeze freeze frame him about here. So that that's what I'll do next. So I'm going to do the same as before. Duplicate my dance guy. Oh, and by the way, we can get rid of on the duplicate the top layer. We can get rid of the camera tracking data. We we don't need it on on this layer. We've still got it on our on our bottom layer here. Okay. So on this layer here. Oof, we are going to cut out a frame again, and I'm going to pause while I do that so you don't have to watch me do that. So I've made a mask, and so you can see it's a mask. Uh, I've also done a time freeze frame on the frame that I want, so now you can see he's sitting in the frame and he's just nowhere, he's just not uh, connected to anything that's going on in the background. But the pink square in the background is connected in 3D space. So how can we get this guy here to behave like that? Well, let, let me show you how we do it. We go to the track solid and hit P to get all the position data. So I'm clicking on the position data and going Command C to copy it. And now if I go to our dance guy, um, by the way, we have to make him a 3D object first. So we'll go 3D and paste the data in. Now the 3D stuff is pasted there, but I can't even see him at the moment. Where is he? Uh, okay, so he's he's here. He, he's sort of like tiny. Maybe if I hide my track solid, we, we can actually see him. Now, we've got to try and use these um, these arrows to sort of um, try and get him into the space we need him to be in. So I'm kind of pushing him around at the moment 
and I can scale him up and down. If I, if I scale him, I need to hold down the shift key so that he scales okay. And oof, let, me, let me just do that again. So I'm holding the shift key down to sort of scale him up and then I'm moving him in the 3D space to try and get him to line up with the original video. So it's it's a bit kind of a bit of guesswork. But when he kind of looks like he lines up, then what do we see? Then he tracks in 3D space. So, so that's how we do it when the camera moves everywhere in 3D space. That's how we get the, um, the freeze frame to behave in 3D space. So again, let's just take that from this shot and pull him in there. Okay, um, I think that's time for you to try the same thing. Um, you're welcome to use the same footage um, that I found on Shutterstock or find your own footage. Shoot your own footage and uh, try and uh, do it. First of all with the camera still and second with a moving camera using the two techniques. The um, track motion where the camera is not moving too much and the track camera when the camera is moving a lot. Okay, good luck and I look forward to seeing what you come up with in this exercise.